It's often said entrepreneurs are the solution to job creation. With the youth unemployment levels reaching staggering heights, the country's universities are hoping to motivate students into being their own bosses. The higher education department is looking at ways to incorporate entrepreneurship development at its institutions. Of course, teaching entrepreneurship is one thing, but implementation of such programs is entirely different. Furthermore, any business venture will require some startup capital. How are students who are still fighting for free higher education expected to fund their businesses? Is there a plan in place to help those student entrepreneurs secure finance? These are some of the questions we will be trying to answer here tonight. My name is Vuyom Vogo and this is our nightly look at South Africa under the Ramaphosa administration. This is as it happens. Well, my guest tonight on As It Happens is Nora Clark from the Department of Higher Education, and she joins us now from our Cape Town studios. Good evening, Ms. Clark. Thank you very much um, for talking to us uh, this uh, evening. How did you go about um, selecting the students uh, who, who can attend this uh, particular um, alikhutla? Right, so thank you, Vuya. So the first thing is, the Lakhotla is for the students, but secondarily so. The Lakhotla is firstly aimed at uh, entrepreneurship practitioners, academic support staff, because before we can look at, at the students themselves as entrepreneurs, we need to build the ecosystem. We need to build the structures that will support students in becoming more entrepreneurial and in creating options for themselves. So this three-day Lechotla, which is taking place at UCT now, involves the 26 universities, the 26 public universities in the country, and representatives from the different universities who are all there with one focus, and that is on how do we develop entrepreneurship in higher education. And uh, a only the third day of the event is focused on the student entrepreneurs themselves because there's a whole month of student entrepreneurship following in August where we are going to go big all over the country to focus on engaging with the students themselves. This particular event is focused on the support structure for students. We'll, we are going to talk about the ecosystem as you refer to um, in a short while, but I do want to uh, ask us to speak a little on the student component um, of that ecosystem because from uh, the statement that uh, your office has released, you are looking at proven student entrepreneurs being part of this thing. And I wanted to explore that a little. First of all, going back to my initial question, uh, how do they become a uh, part of the program? And how did you select them? Right, so the invitation was really an invitation to the different universities to send their uh, candidates really to select who the student entrepreneurs were that they wanted to attend this specific student entrepreneurs in Darba that is taking place on Friday and there we it was actually open to a wider audience of student entrepreneurs but we were specifically saying uh, being a successful student while running a business is not an easy task. Being a student already is, is difficult, but being a successful student and starting up a business for whichever reason is a dual burden. And there are people out there who are really doing this very well. And we want to, on the one hand, discover them this Friday because we don't yet know who they are. They are at the different universities and we're going to now meet them and hear their stories. But we also want to, want to see how can we, from a national uh, perspective, 
support these students in becoming more effective, better equipped in doing what they need to be doing. So what we're presenting on Friday is this one day student entrepreneurs in Darba, which is really a pilot event uh, specifically aimed at equipping students with a set of how-to uh, tools, how to finance your business or how to uh, start with the end of the business in mind already. When you start, what is the big vision that you have? Is it a reasonable vision? Uh, is it something that you have a strategy to work for, uh, for working towards? And then we have uh, the, the very um, well-known Jörg Zucki's uh, topic, which is uh, how do you find clients for your business and how you grow your business? So these are all issues that we will be looking at from a practical point of view. Uh, we're also, an, an, an interesting one, Vuyo, is also the fact that uh, a part of the evolving economy now is the gig economy. And we have Professor Susan Steinman, who's really, uh, she's an, a, a real champion for the gig economy, also as a vehicle for students to start up and grow their businesses while studying. So we will have this kind of practical approach to the student entrepreneurs in Dover. Just very quickly on a question of clarity, you, uh, are these students going to pay or are you paying for them as sponsors of this Lekhutla? Uh, they are being paid for by their universities mostly and for the rest we have really made it very easy and accessible and affordable to, for them to be here. But we're very impressed by the way that universities said let's bring our students to the table, let's send the ones that we know are, are the role models in our institutions to go and lead the, the, the way in terms of this pilot event. Now let's talk then about the other stakeholders, starting with uh, the universities themselves. Now of the 26 uh, universities that you are talking about, they obviously have uh, different um, levels, you know, of, uh, um, you know of, 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 of being able to teach students entrepreneurship. Some of the more, shall we call, shall we call them, the more established or um, I Ivy League, if I may call it that, institutions obviously fare better than many of uh, the university of the of the universities, especially those that are from are based in far flung areas of our country. How do you ensure that uh, you actually bridge uh, the gap? In other words, the student uh, who is at a far flung university uh, gets uh, really as much support and information and education as the one uh, who is uh, in Johannesburg or, or, or Cape Town. That is such an important the point that, you, that you're touching on. And that is exactly why we are building this national ecosystem. Because we have a very, very wonderful community of uh, champions for entrepreneurship across all these universities of the different uh, contexts as well. And uh, I would not say different levels, I would just li like to say universities in different contexts. And, uh, and there's a beautiful collaboration happening in these and among these universities where colleagues are exchanging information, are exchanging best practice and are really connecting with each other to make sure that uh, there's, a, there's a distribution of knowledge, that best practice is shared and resources are obviously as well shared equally. At this stage, uh, the, the project is a very new project and in terms of funding, there are other government entities that we hope will also come to the party in terms of, of, of funding the uh, student startups and, uh, and I think that has already started. But when we look at the, the context, it is one of sharing through three communities of practice. So for you, we have three uh, avenues, really, three channels through which we execute. And, and these are in line with the goals of this program. And the first is in, on developing student entrepreneurship. And they will look at channels outside of the formal curriculum. Whereas their second channel is well, how do we enhance teaching and learning and research to really make entrepreneurship uh, skills and basic skills and awareness accessible to all students across disciplines. 
And then the third channel and the third goal that we have is to develop entrepreneurial universities. And that, through these, these three channels are really uh, pursued through three communities of practice that are represented of, of all the universities and really completely collaborative and inclusive. And I think that is the approach, the approach uh, that we are striving for and that we are encouraging. And this is how we are going to ensure that every student is eventually reached through this program. Now, um, as uh, a lot of people have been saying, uh, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, young ones at that, um, in our country today, but their biggest frustration is that uh, government is not there uh, for them to, 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 to support them by way of giving them some startup capital, for example, that the work of uh, other agencies throughout uh, departments and state-owned enterprises, as well as the provinces, that the work there is uncoordinated and as a result it doesn't do what is required now with a minister who sits in cabinet um, do you really uh, you know take this debate forward uh, to cabinet for example to say we've got to work better otherwise the programs that are there for entrepreneurs are not going to work yes so I think in a, uh, I'm on dangerous territory now, Vuyo, you would understand that. But, um, but what, I, what I can say is that from our side in this uh, entrepreneurship development in higher education program, we are uh, really focused on making the circle bigger, on saying how do we include more stakeholders in this conversation and also how do we align in terms of policy development. So we are in discussions with department uh, basic edu uh, department small business development for example because they have a similar need to uh, to have the necessary policies in place because as much as we dislike and how, as much as policies are sometimes considered a bit on the boring side of, of the entrepreneurship spectrum this is really where we are guided and where we are uh, where, we, where we find the guiding structures through which to execute so I can just say that that the process has started and that w that collaboration on a broader level is what we are striving towards and that we are hoping to um, to help put in place Nora Clark, thank you very much uh, for talking to us uh, this evening. She is from the Department of uh, Higher Education, talking about uh, this entrepreneur development, entrepreneurship development uh, program that uh, they are hosting together, of course, uh, with uh, 26 uh, universities uh, across uh, the country. They are trying to develop uh, student uh, entrepreneurs and trying to get other stakeholders, including the private sector, to buy into the idea. Idea. More on as it happens when we continue right after this short break. <laughs>